All right, so today we are at the Fossil Discovery Center in yeah. Chowchilla, Madera County, California, and we're going to check out some dinosaur bones, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. The Fossil Discovery Center opened in 2010 with a purpose to display and educate about the fossils that have been found right here at the Fairmead Landfill. You want to sit in the front row? No? You want to sit in the middle row? All right. Now, if it's your first time at the center, you can watch a movie that explains how the fossils were discovered. To help you on your self-guided tour, you can use the guidebooks available at the front desk or you can download and use the free app. The first fossil, a Columbia mammoth tusk, which had been dated to around 500,000 years ago, was discovered at the landfill back in 1993. Since then, many other fossils have been found at the site. Now, just to give you an idea of how big these mammoths were, they weighed over 10 tons or 20,000 pounds and they ate around 600 pounds of grass a day. Ooh, well, that's nice and soft. You wanna to touch it? You can touch the fur. Raccoon family here. What are they doing? Oh, those pheasants are pretty. Huh? California's changing water. What makes this interesting too is the fact that right now, because of all the heavy rains we had this year, they're actually talking about the uh, natural lake, Tulare Lake, reforming to some extent because of all the snow melting. So this is pretty cool, actually. Kind of an interesting time to come and visit this exhibit right now when this is happening. Now the San Joaquin Valley looked very different during this time known as the Pleistocene era, which lasted from 1.8 million years ago to about 10,000 years ago. Now much of the valley was then covered by huge lakes, which created rich marshlands and grasslands that became a perfect home to many species, including camels, horses, antelope, wolves, cats, bison, giant sloth, and bears. Those things still look pretty mean. I wouldn't still want to meet one of those guys out in the wild. There's the horse. This is the one we saw in the movie, that short-faced bear. Wow, look how tall that thing is. That is huge. American camels. Huh. Oh, here's a good size chart over here. Wow. It's hard to see with the glare. Man, those sloths were big, those ground sloths. They were about the size of maybe a modern day, I don't know, beaver or something, but man. That thing is huge. That looks like that could be the size right now of like a modern day grizzly bear. I mean. And then we got the saber tooth cat. Oh, look at those big old fangs on that thing.
We have a display here for the first female paleontologist, Mary Anning. Very cool. Uh, this is a fossilized clam. Look at that thing. That's a huge clam. That is crazy. Looks like uh, that's where Tim Burton got his uh, idea for all the creatures in Beetlejuice. Huh? <laughs> look at these things. These look like they're out of Beetlejuice. This is crazy. What about the dinosaurs, you ask? Well, I asked that myself and found my answer. During that time, about 65 million years ago, this area was under the ocean. So there were no dinosaur bones here. It looks like a T-Rex, but I think its head's a little bit smaller. These things are a little bit smaller. But there has been the skeletal fossilized remains of a mosasaur, which was a 45 foot long marine reptile that was found in Pinocha Creek near Fireball. Oh, this is like that, yeah. Jaw with the teeth in it. Mosasaur. Mosas mosasaur? Yeah, mosasaur. Wow, this is, and they got a picture here from Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. That's how, that's what those things look like. To the best of their knowledge. So this is a big chunk of fossilized rock, and it has you've got a rib there. They got the vertebrae, scapula, and the jaw with teeth. Wow! Look at that tooth right there. Let me get closer here. You can see that tooth. Wow! Oh, there's a whole whole bunch of teeth right there. That is neat. What is that? What are you looking at there? How paleontologists identify fossils. So they found all kinds of animals here. And seeds. It's amazing they can find all these little small bones. Oh my gosh, look at that. They even have an example of, look at that. Can you imagine if you were looking for bones? How could I even find a bone in any of that? Um, it says bone, bone, bone. I don't even know. I can't even see. Well, I could see a bone right there. You can see a bone? Yeah, it's right there. I, can I couldn't even identify that. Dad, the dark ones. Is that what it is? No, oh, I see. I see now. I see, yeah. I think the arrows have moved a little bit. I think you're right. They're pointing to the dark, the little dark, uh, um, artifacts. And those are the ones that are the bones, huh? Yeah. Now, if I use my magnification, I can really see it here by using the magnifying glass. Look at that. There's the magnifying glass. I'll just use the magnification on my phone here, phone camera. You get a pretty good idea there. There we go. That's a better look at the bones. There's the bones. Look at that. Nice. Ooh, entomology. Study of insects. Here we go. Here's some bugs. Ooh, look at these pretty butterflies they even have on this display. Wow. Some of those we did see recently at the at the zoo, huh? Their butterfly exhibit, Fresno Chaffee Zoo. Oh, look at all the dragonflies. That, uh, Dad, that's the jumping spider that Mom saw. That's the jumping spider. The one Mom saw the one of those? One. Yeah, the dark one. Okay. There's also a replica of a Yokut house. Now the Yokuts were actually a native tribe that lived in the area about 10,000 years ago. It's just like, um, Remember on that, we were watching that history uh, show where they were talking about how they would build their um, build their huts out of the reeds. Do you remember that? Now outside they have a water source exhibit. Give you an idea of what the marshland looked like. So this is what the water source would look like when all the animals would gather. And go check it out.
Oh, wow, you can walk all the way around it, huh? See, these are the reeds right here. These are the reeds that that hut would be built out of. That hut we see over there, that we just saw, they would use those, they would cut those down, they would build their huts out of them. So can you imagine this would be what the valley looked like? Oh, there's little fish in there too. You can see the little fish. Yeah, that was so pretty. Probably little mosquito fish. But this is what the valley uh, floor would have looked like. A lot of marshland, a lot of swampy type land. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let's see if I can get a closer look here. That dragonfly. Look at that guy right there. Beautiful little red dragonfly. There's two of them too. There's his friends over there across the way. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, oh, they took off, they took off. I will say that this uh, Faramede Fossil Discovery Center is actually pretty cool. I mean, look at this. They have like a, a replica here of the swamplands from that time, what it, what it might have looked like. I love it. And with all the bones and stuff inside the actual center, that that's pretty amazing. I would definitely come out here and check this out. It's definitely worth it. They got nice little benches around. You can just kind of come in and kick back oh, sit down and just relax yeah let's see oh like little tadpoles in there they got little tadpoles all in there look at oh there they go he's swimming away oh, there's a big tadpole look at that tadpole right there he's just hanging out they're just hanging out just enjoying life this is pretty neat, huh? Like I'm in the jungle. The marshland jungle of the Central Valley. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, there's no real... Ooh, what is that? frog I think I scared it huh that was neat I nice, got a little outdoor area it's nice little picnic tables now this I remember this this used to be along highway 99 there was two of them one on each side of the freeway one going north one going south it's called mammoth orange and this was where you'd stop and you'd get a burger and fries or hot dog or so we'll go over here it has a little plaque we'll we'll check it out it's kind of cool they got like a little roadway leading up to it, it says the mammoth orange in the early days of highway travel here were very little in the way of convenience for hot and Oh, there's a little bunny over there. Did you get that? Yeah. Right there. He's right there. See him? <gasps> Look at the little bunny. There's a little bunny right there. Can you see him? He's right there. I don't want to scare him. Look at the little bunny. Look at the little guy. He's just hanging out. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. He's running. He's running. Now he's not a dinosaur. No, not at all. Hi, little bunny. Oh. Whoa, he took off. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so you can come over here. Now here at the Fossil Discovery Center, there's also an area where the young ones or the young at heart can dig for their own fossils. And don't forget about the gift shop. It helps support the center.
this one. Which one are you getting? Let's see what you're getting. And you're getting that one. Very cool. I like it. I like it. Hi, Sue. So today we just got back from the Fossil Discovery Center. And we got some cool little souvenirs. Yep. Some t-shirts. You, you got a shirt. I got you a got shirt. You got the mammoth orange. I got the mammoth orange. And I got the... The Fossil Discovery Center and the phone number on it. Yep, and the phone number, yeah. <laughs> and we got a cool little book that has a lot of information in it about a lot of fossils. Yeah, yeah. I wish we would have had the book yeah. before we went because we actually learned a lot in the book. Um, but we also learned a lot there. Um, what did you think about the Fossil Discovery Center overall? I thought it was pretty cool. It had a lot of cool bones and yeah. a lot of real ones. A lot of cool fossils. It had a lot of uh, uh, neat replicas of the actual animals uh, from the fossils that they discovered there. And uh, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about the area, uh, San Joaquin Valley, that I did not know. Um, so I would definitely recommend going here. What yeah. about you? Yeah. yeah. And they had a little bit of shark teeth too there. <laughs> oh, they had some shark teeth. Yeah. yeah. They also had uh, one dinosaur. Yes. Uh, uh, actually, it wasn't a dinosaur. A it was a marine reptile because uh, something I didn't know, this area was underwater at the time of the dinosaur. So that's why you won't find dinosaur bones there. It was but so huge. Yeah, it was very big. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, we would definitely recommend going there, right? Yes. Yeah. So um, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And until and the, next the next adventure. adventure. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>